today we play Super Mario Odyssey, but you get plus one jump power every second, and we climb every custom tower. This was one of my favorite mods that I've ever made. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. But at the start of the game, Mario has an incredibly low jump height, and we have to make it a baby tower here. So these first few steps, we can actually just walk up, and we can barely jump high enough to make it up some of these earlier steps. We can see that even on some of these steps over here, we're starting to ledge grab, but with every jump, we are getting stronger and stronger. You can see that at first we can't reach, but now we can jump high enough to get up here, and our jump height keeps getting higher and higher, so now we can reach up here. And you know what? While our Mario gains some jump power here, let's look at how high normal Mario can get. He can do some nice jumps and triple jumps, and he can use Cappy, and if these two Marios were to race, that normal Mario would be faster at first, but he can barely make it up to this light green level, and he can't make it up high enough to reach this darker green level. So, now that our boosted Mario has gained some more jump height, let's look at how high we are jumping now. Our jumps are definitely much higher now. We can jump basically as high as the Odyssey. We can jump onto the roof of the Odyssey very easily. But let's try and make our way up Baby Tower with our higher jump height now. We are already up to almost 80 jump power, so that is quite nice that we can go up a few levels at a time. We caught up to regular Mario now, and we are now higher than regular Mario. We can get quite high. Okay, we still made it up onto the next ledge. How about this one? All right, looks like we're getting very high. Some of the level down there is starting to disappear. Already at almost 100 jump power. We must be getting close to the top of the tower by now. Oh, uh, that looks like the top of the tower. We're almost there. Okay, by the time we slide down, we should be able to reach it, hopefully. We're at 100 jump power, and... There we go! We made it up to the very top, and the reward for clearing Baby Tower is Mario goes into a baby painting. That brings us back to Baby Tower, and our jump height is reset again. But, now our jump height goes up faster, and there's a new tower for us to go up, which is walls. And what we have to do in walls is, of course, we have to jump over these walls. And if you land on these walls, you are safe. Maybe later on there'll be another tower where it isn't safe to touch the walls, but for now, we just wanna jump over these walls. And if we wanna be extra safe, because as you can see right now, we can't jump up to that wall over there. What we can do is jump onto this wall, and from this wall, whoa, we can make it to there. But let's try jumping up onto the next wall. Whoa, we can just barely reach that one. Okay, let's be careful. If we try and jump from wall to wall, that has got to be the safest way to do it. Yeah, because we can make it like that. If we drop down between these walls, then we'll have to wait a bit until our jump power gets high enough so that we can reach this wall again. And look at this, Mario now jumps so high that by the time that he lands again, look at this, Mario plays that animation where he shivers like that a little bit and he has to shake it off when he lands. Okay, we are able to get high enough to make it to here, just barely. Now, will we be able to make it up onto the blue wall? Maybe we'll be able to make it onto that blue wall for now. Okay, and a lot of the level down there is disappearing as you guys can see. Say goodbye to the Cascade Kingdom. Okay, let's make our way up here now and very nice, we made it to here, already at 170 jump power right now. Whoa, our jump power went up so high that we were almost able to skip this one over here. Okay, let's just make our way up these walls over here, and okay, we can't make it up to the next one yet, but maybe by the time that we land, maybe we'll be able to make it up onto the next wall already, let's see. Yeah, and there we go, that is already the final wall over here. Let's just make our way down there. Oh, and let me show you guys this from here. We can see that we're already higher than Baby Tower. So yeah, we got quite high, and our jump height is still going up even higher as we are making our way down here. We are already at almost 250 jump power. So after we clear this one, we can see that there's a brick here because this was the wall level. Let's just jump up right now just to see how high we can go. And, oh my goodness. We can almost make it up to the top of this wall. So every time that we complete a tower, our jump power gets reset to zero. But a new tower appears and our jump height starts to go up even faster. So now we have the brand new water tower here and our jump power goes up by three per second instead of one per second now. So it looks like it would be a lot easier to climb up the baby tower now because we start to get jump speed a lot more quickly. It should also be easier to go up the walls tower but we now have access to the water tower over here. So let's just make our way up to the water tower and we are already at almost 100 jump height. So you can see that when we jump up like this, you can see that there is the surface of some water over here. So you might be wondering what happens when we go into the water tower here. So when we step in right now, it looks like it's just nothing because Mario's just walking around normally over here. But when we jump up, 
All of a sudden, Mario is inside some water here, and we are up to the surface of water. And we just jumped there, and look at this, look at this. You guys have got to see this. We can actually jump up to the next surface of water like this. So there's air, water, air, water, and that's basically what this tower is on the way up. We make it up to the surface of water, then we can jump. Hopefully, you can reach the next body of water, and then you can swim up like this. But I thought this was a really cool way to make this tower. I thought this was a cool idea for a tower. Okay, so let's see, can we reach the top one? Oh my goodness, that might be the top right there already. Okay, okay, so we just fell there a little bit. Now let's take a look at that tower down there. That over there is the Walls Tower. You can see that we're almost as high as the Walls Tower already. Our jump power is already over 200. So let's jump on up here. Let's keep making our way up. And is that as high as it goes? Yeah, it looks like that's as high as it goes. It looks like we made it up to the very top over here. We made it up to the top of the water tower. The walls go a little bit higher, but you can jump from wall to wall. So let's see what we have over here. And guys, if you recognize this painting over here, leave a comment right now. What is this painting from? So let's go through this painting. So our jump height is reset back to zero, but our jump height is going up at an even faster rate now because we have completed a new tower. And as you guys might've noticed, there is a brand new tower for us up here, the poison tower. And there's something special about the poison tower here. What you want to do, let me try and do it correctly and hopefully I can show you guys. Oh boy, this is gonna be a little tricky actually. What we want to do is jump through here and not touch the walls. Because if you touch these walls, you're in trouble. So we have got to be really careful where we go. We've got to be really, really careful. There are some gaps between the walls like this. So it's nice. Ah! This one really can be quite tricky, especially... Okay, good, good, good. We're okay here. Okay, especially if you're used to the regular jump height of Mario. Okay, this is all right. All right, there we go. It looks like maybe those first few were some of the trickiest. Hopefully they were some of the trickiest. Okay, now I just got to be careful to not touch any of these walls. Oh boy, this is so scary. Okay, so let's see, can we make this jump? Let's just be careful. Okay, we're a little high right here. And... How's that? Wow! no, we went into a wall! You know what, I keep... Touching that red wall right there, don't touch anything. Oh my goodness, look at how close I am to that red wall! If my nose touches that, I might be dead. I'm just very glad that we finally made it this far. Okay guys, so I actually haven't done a test playthrough of this before, so I didn't know that it would be this difficult. Oh no! Oh boy, this is such a tricky one guys, this is so much harder than I thought it would be. Should I make a mod based off of this? And come on, just go straight down, go straight down, ground pound! There we go! I hope that we can make it over here, okay, so we gotta be careful here, let's see. How about now? And just ground pound! Yes! Yes, another one! Okay, we're getting close. It looks like there are three more jumps. All right, let's jump on up. Okay, that's bringing us quite high. And go, come on. Come on, ground pound now, ground pound now. And are we safe? Yes! Okay, guys, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. This is still very, very difficult and very, very scary though. All right, let's try this jump, go. And that's like the perfect height. No! We are so close, guys. We can do it. I need you all to believe in me that we can do it. This is so difficult, Ed. Come on. Come on. Ed, ground pound, ground pound. Ed, yes, that looks like it's going to be good. Okay, because when you ground pound, you go straight down. So that is actually perfect. And we can see that there's a nice coughing painting for us back there. This is the final jump that we have to make. This is so scary. Can we do it? Or do we have to start the tower all over again? I don't want to do this tower anymore, guys. I hope that I can complete this. This is so difficult. But first, let's see our jump height. Okay, that is incredibly high. Oh, uh, I can kind of jump over it. I think that would be cheap, though. I should add an invisible wall up there so that you can't jump over it. I'm going to try this, though. Let's see. Let's see. And... Go. Yes, baby! We got it! We got it! Oh my goodness! Let's go into that coughing painting and let's go to the next tower because that was so difficult. What a lovely painting it is. Coughing the poison type. Let's head in there. So we're back to zero jump height again and you might have noticed another block up there, but when we get closer, you can see that the rest of the level does spawn because we do have a lot of 
very big towers around here. And look at this, we're getting jump heights so quickly now. We can already jump higher than the Odyssey. We can jump up onto these walls quite easy. Oh, that was a really cool wall jump. I actually really like that wall jump. Look at this, jump into the wall. Oh, hold on, I actually wanted to wall jump off another wall just because that looked really cool. Um, let's go jump into a wall. Wall jump off of the wall and it brings you way higher than the wall actually is. That is such a funny way to move, okay. So, instead of walking around the level, let's just make our way up here. Okay, and the level should come back into view. There we are. Now, we have this city tower. Here's our next tower. So, you might have noticed some of these buildings are actually from the Metro Kingdom. Like, that back there. That's actually City Hall up there. So, okay, and our jump height is already so high that we are already almost up at the top of City Hall from a single jump. Normally, you have to use those amps and whatnot to get up here, and let's just walk in here. Hello there, I'm just going to walk in here. What a lovely place for Mario to be, okay. Let's make our way up. Oh, oh, there's actually a roof there. That's why we got pushed down, okay. And let's just have a look back at some of the other towers that we did. There's the poison tower over there. Back there is the baby tower, that glowing light over there. That's the Odyssey, got the water tower over there. Man, what cool towers we've had. Okay, let's make our way up. We're already at over 400 jump, okay. We jumped over another building and another entire city hall over here. Okay, is city hall going to come back? Because we can jump very high right now. We're very high above the level. Okay, where's the level? Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. I got so far away from the tower that it disappeared, basically. Okay, can I make it up to the top, please? Very nice. So our jump height is over 600 now, so I think if I jump and tap Cappy right away, oh, that's actually a great way to move. If you jump and tap Cappy right away, then it stops you from moving up a crazy amount and there we are, we are at the top of the city tower. And we've got a pretty cool view of the kingdom around us like this. We are up very high right now. With a single jump, we can already go higher than the largest building in the Metro Kingdom. So let's wait a few more moments until our jump power reaches 1,000 and then we'll try jumping. All right, everybody, it is time. Let's say goodbye to the Cascade Kingdom and all the towers. It is time to jump with a jump power of 1,000. Are you ready, Mario? Let's go and jump. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye level. Oh my goodness, it is so bright blue down there. Okay, goodbye to all the clouds. I like that we can still see all the towers there, but yeah, it looks like Mario can get very, very high. This might be surprising, but it actually takes a few minutes for Mario to reach the ground after doing this jump. And I really recommend you watch my video where I put Mario in jail in Super Mario Odyssey. It is a fun mod, and the video has almost 2 million views, and that blows my mind. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day ahead of you, and take care, everybody.